In this video tutorial, I'm going to cover one of the most powerful features of Word 2010 Tracking Changes. Tracking Changes allows users to collaborate together in editing a document. By the way, the same procedure works for Word 2007. Before we get started, if you'd like to view this video with better quality, please click on the little gear in the bottom and change the quality to 720p or HD. And then also, choose to maximize the window by clicking on the square on the bottom right. So let's get started. Basic tracking changes in Word 2010. Usually this is an option that you can enable by going to review and then it's under this section for tracking. So here is our scenario. Suppose we have a document that we are working together, a proposal or a memo or some kind of uh, document that a group of individuals need to work together and edit and come out, uh, come up with a uh, final version of it. Using Word 2007, you can save all these changes to the document and each individual make changes to it. And then finally, or the team leader can go and confirm and accept all the changes in the document and then submit it. So here's how it's done. We go from the Home tab to the Review tab and then Tracking Changes is under this section for tracking. The first thing that we need to do is we're going to drop down here under Track Changes and then we want to change the username. So we go and change, set it to your name and then your initials. Additionally, if you click on Track Changes, you can go also and see change tracking options and basically what it's saying here is that for any insertions there will be a color determined by the author whoever the author is so the way it works is basically you have multiple people working on the same document each will have a specific color and then the changes will be identified for anything inserted it will be their color uh, same thing for deletions and then for any comments as well Additionally, it's going to track formatting and other options, as you can see from this page. So we'll click OK here, and then we are going to click on Track Changes. We can go and make changes to this document. Let's say I want to make this uh, format this differently, make that bold. And we go and add additional line. Now this is going to be underlined. And then, supposedly, I want to also add here another section and uh, call this issues. I go also and make changes such as uh, this set needs instead of a period it we can take out the period and then change it with a lowercase d. Supposedly we don't want the extra space here and adjust it. So basically we make all the changes throughout the document. At this point I'll go ahead and save it and then I'll go ahead and close the document and, then, and now I'll pretend like I'm um, somebody else. I will change the username to Jones. Click OK and at this point Mary will come in and she'll make her changes as well. So let's say Mary goes further down here and wants to highlight this section and then let's say she wants to additionally add here another section heading and wants to make that in bold. It's hard to see probably because of the video recording and recording this on the same computer but notice that there is a difference in the colors here between the two users and notice as well that if you hold the mouse on it it will tell you the date and time and who made that change. If I go here to previous areas this was from the original author of the document. So let's say we want to change additional items here so deletions will be with a strike through and basically the idea is that you pass this around to all the users where they can make the changes. So the next step here is to go back and for whoever is in charge of the team to go back and accept these changes and approve them. So notice there are a couple options here. So you have uh, final with markup, original, and you can switch between the original document here. This is what the original was. You can change it to original with markup or final markup. It's important that you never send the document in this state even though you may choose final here and it may, it may seem that all the changes were applied to the document it's very important that you do not send your document outside of your team without the next process that I will explain otherwise somebody can simply click on 
final show markup and they can see all the comments that you have made in that specific document. Uh, let's see how we can uh, proceed to accept all of these changes. Uh, let's assume that the team leader is finalizing this document and let's assume that Hubert is the new team leader so we click on change username and I'm verifying that we have Hubert. We click, we go to the beginning of the document and then notice that uh, there's an option for accept and move to the next or accept the change. So if the making this bold is correct then we click on accept and move to the next. If we want the word introduction here then we can choose to accept and move it to the next, move to the next, or we can just re reject it and move to the next. So let's say I didn't want the introduction there, it takes it out. Let's say we want the bold, click on accept, and then we have the next sentence here. It was by the author who added this. We click on accept and basically go throughout the document this way. In this case here, it was that the uh, period and D was deleted click on accept and then notice here there is needed a space I guess we can make the change at this point and accept that change and we basically go throughout the document and accept all these changes if they are applicable the strike through here it was for deleting a section of it so if we want it to be it to be deleted we accept it and it's gone all the changes have been applied to this document and let's say that we are good to go we click on save and then uncheck the track changes. In this case, uh, this is finalized. However, one last thing that I'd recommend for any documents that you send out, especially out of PBU, is that you double check the documents for any personal information. And this is the way that you double check it. You click on File, and then click on Prepare for Sharing. Uh, so basically what this is, basically if you're sending this document out, it goes and checks for personal information within the file. Click on check for issues, inspect document, and then we say yes. And then we'll check for any comments, revisions, annotations, and so on. Document properties such as personal information, XML data, Headers and footers, you might want to leave them there if you have headers and footers. And then visible content and hidden other things. We inspect it. It's going to come back and it's going to tell us that there is a custom XML data found. So we click on remove and then reinspect it again and close. At this point, the document is ready to be sent, to send, be sent out. And even if you go under document properties notice that it does not tell you who created the document and all the other details so that's basically the procedure on uh, tracking changes in a document it's uh, very clear um, you go under review turn on track changes make sure your name is one of them and make all the changes pass this around among all the team members and then the team leader goes into the document and approves those changes. Again, make sure you do not send the document out without inspecting it and applying, accepting or rejecting the changes because you don't want the users, the recipients on the other end, the public, to know what the comments were while you're preparing this document. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me and otherwise feel free to check the other or subscribe to this uh, channel for any new videos that may become available in the next few weeks and months. Thank you.